Well, as children prepare to head back to school nationwide and here at home, school districts are dealing with an unprecedented number of staffing shortages. Positions from bus drivers to teachers need to be filled. We spoke to Governor Whitmer about the shortages. 13 on your side's Veronica Ortega joins us live this morning. Veronica, what's being done to fill these vacancies? Meredith, J. education funding was a big part of the new state budget that was agreed on last month. While the budget does not include specific line items to increase salary or benefits for teachers already working in the classroom, it does provide support and incentives for new teachers. The budget allocated $175 million for Grow Your Own Grants. This gives districts a no-cost pathway for support staff or long-term substitutes to become certified certified teachers, plus a $50 million stipend for student teachers looking to join the workforce. We've got uh, some incentive pay that we were able to get done in this budget, helping student teachers with per diems. Uh, these are ways that we can acknowledge these are important jobs, they're tough jobs, and we want to help get good people to stay in these jobs, but also to go into this field. More than $300 million has been appropriated for scholarships to college students earning their initial teacher certification. $25 million of that will be given out during the upcoming fiscal year. And Jay, additionally, the new budget also provides funding for mental health service resources, special education, and school safety. We'll have more details on school safety measures coming up next half hour.